three ways to improve your health and wealth in 2021. Hey, and that's why I have a special guest. Hi, Chantel. Hi. How are you? I am doing so wonderful. I'm awesome. so happy to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Chantel is here. She is going to give us some major nuggets on how, you know, people like me, realtors and mortgage loan originators and um, contractors, how people who are always on the go, visiting house to house, dealing with client to client, can eat better during the work week. Yes, I have some really special gems for y'all. And it's Good. super simple, I promise. Super simple. Good. It's just a little bit of finessing that you have to do in your mindset. Mm -hmm. That's it. We need that for sure because, I mean, stress is like the number one killer. And mm -hmm. so... Um, if we have something as simple as eating better, which will help us to reduce our stress, that's all we need. Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your background and how you're qualified to tell us on um, increasing our health. Yes. So I've been a, a classically trained chef for over 12 years. Um, wow. Yes. You look way too young for that. <laughs> Seriously. I'll be 30 tomorrow. <laughs> Girl, you're lying. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so I've been classically trained for over 12 years, and um, throughout my journey, I've worked in uh, hospitality the whole time. Um, oh, so wow. I've worked in regular hotels, I've worked in regular restaurants, I've worked in luxury hotels, mm. and I just found that we all have the same yearning to mm -hmm. live a more fulfilling life, and that mm -hmm. just did something different for me. So I originally started a juice bar. And then oh. I moved on from a juice bar to actually offering personal services, personal chef services for people. Okay. And so I would come into their home. I would uh, sit with them and we would create a meal plan together. And then I would chop, cook, clean, label, date. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. The number one tip <laughs> I feel like is so, so important that's often overlooked yeah. is staying hydrated. Uh-huh. Staying hydrated. It is so simple. It'll make you feel so much better. Yes, keep Got that water. water on deck. But also, Got don't overlook. <laughs> Alkaline is important. Don't <laughs> overlook the fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. If you're drinking water and you may have tea or coffee in between, yeah. don't be afraid to grab a piece of fruit, have a fruit salad, or actually have a salad. Um, but hydration is key. You have to stay hydrated, keep your mind focused, to keep your body balanced, and also to stay flexible. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times we're in our cars, we're back in our office, in our desk, we're, we're sitting crouched, you know. So bringing that <laughs> hydration is going to keep everything nice and mobile and in flow. Nice. So what suggestions would you give, though, somebody who is having a problem bringing in a fruit salad, you mm -hmm. know, or having a fruit salad with them? I would say do not be afraid to ask for help. We have so many apps nowadays, DoorDash, Postmates, Shipped, Instacart, that deliver to uh, commercial places, residential places nowadays. Um, hmm. And you can order uh you can order out if you need to. However, mm -hmm. get acquainted with your convenience stores around the places that you shop frequently. Maybe mm -hmm. around your job, maybe around the gas station that you frequent. A lot of the times they'll have either homemade things, uh, like small, um, I'm losing it a little bit. <laughs> huh? They have, I was like losing my flow a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> hey, we human. <laughs> they may have um, just like small purveyors that I that carry uh, lunch items, and mm -hmm. a lot of times Monday through Friday. Oh, we, 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 I was gonna say. I was gonna say. In my head, when I think of DoorDash, I don't know why I think of burgers. Really? <laughs> I never associate DoorDash with, with bringing healthy? anything healthy. Wow. So that's funny. Um, because now you just shed a, a new light. Yes, I love um, Beyond in Detroit. Uh, oh. The Beyond um, Eatery. Oh, okay. They have smoothies. They have oh, smoothie bowls. They I've have wraps, there. sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, it is something on the lighter side. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a hot item like a soup or something like that, you may find that seasonally. But what about, though, when people say, oh, eating healthy is too expensive? For example, like the Beyond Juice Place. Mm -hmm. You can go to McDonald's, right? And you get you a, or no, no, let's say Wendy's. It gets you a four for four. For four dollars, you got a whole meal. But if you go to, like, Beyond Juice and you want something healthy, how do we fix that? Mindset. You literally <laughs> get, get your what mind you pay right. for. You, you 
have to make an investment just like if you like let's say in real estate and someone comes to the table and they don't really want to pay the fees up front well they're not really ready to mm. move forward in the process we have to get over the hump yeah. of paying more for something that may be perceived as less but we actually get more of a return in the long run mm, more return on our body and our mind i guess absolutely because <laughs> eating mcdonald's or four for fours three or four <laughs> times a week two to three times a day yeah that adds up and that's very expensive versus eating and i was gonna say to be honest I don't go to McDonald's a lot, but I do once in a blue moon. Yes. And when I do, I'm right back hungry. So, yeah, you make sense. Because it's empty calories. It's nothing that's given that vitality, mm. that's given that electrolytes. And mm. you want to eat electricity. Mm. And so when you look at it in that light, it's like, okay, you wouldn't put um, cheap gas in a luxury vehicle. This is our luxury vehicle right here. Boom. Okay. That makes we so gotta much preserve sense. this. That's a great way to think about yeah, it. Yeah, so you have to get over get get comfortable with flexing that muscle of dropping that money mm -hmm. on something that's gonna make you feel better, make you sharper, yeah. make you have uh, less hunger in your meetings, you right. know, more clarity. Yeah. And then you'll be able to work into your schedule shopping more frequently for yeah. yourself. I was gonna say and maybe we just need to go to Randazzo's more and mm -hmm. Carry, um, you know, invest in a couple dollars at Family Dollar, get us a little cooler and have it in our car or whatever. Yes, it's something to think about. It's definitely something to think about for mm -hmm. sure. Well, you see that she's already dropping some great gems for us with stressful jobs. So stay until the end so that you can hear the rest because right now I'm going to get in my top three ways to increase, improve your wealth and your credit mm -hmm. score in 2021. Let's get right to it. All right, so my number one is those old credit cards, like mm -hmm. the first one you got way back in the day, you know, and you used to max it up, max it up, that you, you get some extra money, and you say, I'm paying this off, and I'm getting rid of it. Oh, I hate this credit card. Those are the ones you want to keep. <laughs> I wish I would have known that. Yeah. My first credit card... I got it in college. I had it for a couple of years. I paid it off and closed it. No one told me nope. mm -mm. that that's my credit history that I'm shortening. Yep, now. yep. Keep those old credit cards open. And um, the reason is because you those old credit cards, that is um, seasoning, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's considered wow. seasoning. And um, that's the longest history of your credit or the uh, oldest history of your credit. So if you show that you can manage that card well mm -hmm. and keep that balance low on a consistent basis, you get rewarded for that with oh, what? Wow. A higher credit score. That's fantastic. <laughs> And that's so simple. Mm -hmm. It's such a simple trick that you just don't know what you don't know. Right. And it's and it's really about um, discipline. They're, we're showing that we mm. have discipline. Right. When we can have those old credit cards open and keeping the balances low or just keeping it close to zero, we're showing that we have discipline and they reward us by increasing our credit score. Now, I do want to ask you this. Mm -hmm. When you say close to zero and keeping it low, what do you mean? Like, what's low? Low, um, for example, if you have a credit card that the limit is $1,000, right? So you always want to try and keep your balance below 20%. So that would be like $200 or less. So you would oh, wow. use it just for groceries or just for, you know, little knickknacks. And then always, and, and of course, we know never, ever let it go past 30 days late. So mm. <laughs> we know go. that one. All right. So the number two tip on increasing your wealth through your credit score in 2021 is visit annualcreditreport.com. Now, the purpose of this is that you get a free credit report every year and you can see if there are any negative items or any any items that can potentially hurt your credit score and you will get the information, the account information, and you can dispute them. Write a letter or dispute it online. Now, can you see uh, just one or two of the um, bureaus? I believe... I believe all three uh, credit oh, bureaus okay. are on there. I'm not certain. It's been a while since I have used that because I use ExperienBoost.com. Oh, so okay. 
uh, I have a different way of looking at mine, but you know, I just want to um, help some people who may not be able to afford a monthly monitoring service. Right. So I just want to give them a free way to get it. But um, definitely, this is the tip that will help you to um, increase your credit score is look at your credit, know your credit, visit annualcreditreport.com yearly and dispute items that shouldn't be there. Great tip. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right, and last but not least, this is a very important tip that you don't want to forget. How many trusted people do you have in your life? How many trusted people do you have in your life? Uh, I would like to say all of them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anybody is fortunate if they have at least two trusted people who would be so... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yes. yes, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Generous enough to add you on their credit card as an authorized user. Oh, wow. Yeah. You gotta break that one down. What is that about? <laughs> so, all right. Adding someone as an authorized user. Now, the only people who might do this would be a spouse or a mom or a dad. You know, something like that. But, um, basically... If you need to increase your credit score, say you are planning to buy a house within the next six months and your mortgage loan officer tells you, we need your credit score up another 50 points. Ooh. And you're like, how can I do this quickly? Um, Actually, no, don't do this if you're about to buy a house <laughs> in six months. But if you're going to buy a house next year, do this. <laughs> I forgot. Don't play with your credit too much when you're about to buy a house. Right. But if you're about to buy one next year... <laughs> See, as you see, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even edit the bloopers. We're going to just keep it just like it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so say you're buying a house next year. Um, you could have a spouse or a mom or a dad add you to their credit card that is um, seasoned and they keep the balance low and they never miss a payment. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that can help a person's credit score shoot. 50 points shoot up 50 wow. points fairly quickly. I'm talking wow. within 90 days. Wow. Yes. Just okay. going on somebody's card as a credit card authorized user. Now, I, you know, if I were to do this for my son, which I did, I never gave him the credit card. <laughs> I never gave him the credit card, but I did add him oh, wow. so that his score would be great, you know, once he was ready to buy a car or to do this or whatever he needed to do, he would have a strong credit score and not have to get a high interest rate. Right. That's the killer right there. That high interest rate yeah. is brutal. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I'd known these tips before I started my credit journey. But yeah. now I do. Yeah. Now I know. Awesome. Awesome. And that's why I give uh, free information is because there's just so much um, in the world that we don't know. And um, the internet is a amazing fa and fast way to share good information that can help people to increase their wealth and increase their credit score okay. in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a quick recap, okay? And then we're going to get to Chantel's health tips. All right. So again, a quick recap. Number one, improving your credit score is keep those Old credit cards open and keep the balances low or just keep it at zero, okay? Don't close it um, unless you don't want to increase your credit score. Then close it, okay? Uh, number two, <laughs> get your free credit report from annualcreditreport.com and anything that you feel should be disputed, go ahead and dispute it. I am going to leave some links and resources below this video so that you can... Um, Use these resources to dispute any items on your credit report. Also, um, and then number three, um, find a trusted family member who will add you as an authorized user. Those are my three tips. Now, what I would like for you to do, drop a comment below and let me know if there are any other qu credit questions you have or you think should have been included in my top three and and as i said too one other disclaimer i'm not a credit expert but i love to help people and to share 
good free information. Before we get to Chantel's, drop a comment below. Tell me what other credit, credit questions you have or what you want me to address on another video. You, I, what do you think? Do you think people will have some kind of questions about credit? Absolutely. You gave away great tips. I even, it got my mind rolling. So I'm just Good. sure people are going to come with it. Good. Credit is so important these days. Um, life is a game and credit is a bigger game. So mm. let's learn how to win in it. That's right. With I these like that. Free tips. Yes. All right. So I'm turning it <laughs> over to Chantel because I will talk you all night. But if you did learn anything so far, go ahead and drop a like for us, okay? <laughs> That's fantastic. Thumbs up. Right. Okay. So, so like I stated earlier, yes. my favorite, favorite, favorite is to stay hydrated. H2O. There we go. And also, my number two favorite thing to stay healthy is to be prepared with healthy snacks. Mm. So it's going to look different for everyone what a healthy snack is. People yeah. have different diets. People have different sensitivities. Yeah. So I would say keep something that's shelf-stable and something that's perishable. Mm. So the shelf stable is something you can keep in your car, keep in your desk, in your office, maybe nuts, maybe um, some seeds, sunflower seeds if you're into that, yeah, something like that. And then you can keep your perishables, which is your fruits. Mm -hmm. um, I would say you can even have dried fruits too if you're into that. Mm. Freeze dried strawberries are delicious. Yeah. Um, or you can have fresh fruit, like in season things, peaches, apples, things, bananas, things that you can kind of leave mangoes. You can leave them on the counter. They don't mm -hmm. spoil. But once you walk past them and smell that scent, oh, that fresh mango. Right. You know what? It's time for a snack. Yeah. That's a quick way. Yeah. Something visually appealing that you can see. That is a way to um, just keep in mind, hey, I need to eat fruit daily. That's a great way to do yeah. it. It's so easy to pick up the bad stuff. Yes. We got to figure out a way and work a little harder to pick up that good stuff. Yes. I know I'm guilty of it. Me too. <laughs> I love me a good potato chip. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Something that goes into that, and this is like another topic for another video. Okay. But we are emotional beings, so we emotionally eat. If we're having a good day and celebrating, you know, we want to reward ourselves with our favorite snack. Oh, yeah. If we're having a bad day, we just got our head chewed off by one of our clients oh, or something. Boy. You know, we want to have a bad snack. Yeah. <laughs> that's so true. You know, so that's something to keep in mind. If anybody agrees with that, drop a <laughs> like or a comment. Okay. Drop an emoji or something because yes. I think we're all guilty of, well, a lot of people are emotional eaters. Yes, a and lot of so us, so yes. they want something good to eat when they had a bad day. Yes. <laughs> or like me, anytime I'm having a good celebration, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to celebrate. Oh, what can yeah. I get to celebrate? Yes. So that's something just to keep in mind to have healthy options yeah. at bay. You really want to have healthy options. Awesome. Awesome tip. Yes. All right. And my final one. Now, this is going to require a little bit of an open mind. Okay. But. Drum roll, number one. Do not skip meals. Do not really? skip a meal. You oh will, my God. You do not want to skip meals. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm I, saying, oh my God, because there's so much talk now about intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting. And so now my son had lost a lot of weight like two years ago okay. and he was doing intermittent fasting and exercising a lot so i thought maybe i'll try it okay. but for me it was the opposite effect mm -hmm. i felt like i was gaining weight trying to do this mm -hmm. and so i said oh no that don't work for me and see i'm so glad you brought that up because intermittent fasting is different for everyone naturally mm -hmm. you fast when you go to sleep mm -hmm. um so your body has its own rhythm it's called a circadian rhythm mm. and your body has its own flow of when it's digesting of when it's expelling waste of when it's resting and repairing your body okay so you want to eat on a schedule you want to eat more frequently versus not mm. versus eating less frequently however mm. if you are interested in intermittent fasting mm -hmm. i actually practice intermittent fasting myself every day mm -hmm. but i don't tell myself I'm fasting. I don't tell myself I'm intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. What I do personally, this is the real deal of what I do. When mm -hmm. I wake up, mm -hmm. 
I don't eat solids as soon as I get up. I like okay. to have liquids as mm-hmm. soon as I get up. Or okay. if I just want to chew something, I'll have fruit. Mm-hmm. Raw fruit, um, warm liquids, cold liquids. Mm-hmm. Um, you mm-hmm. know, I like chai tea. Sometimes I have an ice. I'll keep that liquid situation going for okay. a few hours. Okay. Then around lunchtime, mm-hmm. which is sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 2 or 3 o'clock lunch for me. And okay. I have a newborn at home, so I'm mm-hmm. on his time. <laughs> Yeah, so, Chantel's a new mommy. Yeah, I'm a new mommy. Get that boy home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun, oh, yeah. We're gonna have fun <laughs> with the boy. Believe that. Yes. yes. So I like to eat lunch, you know, midday. So that I assume that that's normal for everyone. Lunch is around 12 to 4, I would say, for most people. Okay. And then dinner falls somewhere between six seven which mm-hmm. is later for some people most people that's late okay. but i would recommend not eating dinner after 9 or 10 p.m okay you want to give your body at least two hours before you go to bed to digest mm-hmm. because even i keep you, hearing that yeah i'm just not good at doing it yes it takes some practice it takes some i practice. used to be good at doing it but not no more because the stress on the job yes, yes. <laughs> A tip that I use. This is a bonus tip. Bonus round. Mm-hmm. Make sure you have dessert. Really? Some people I have heard mm. from doctors, nutritionists, dietitians. Mm-hmm. When you put yourself on a restricted diet and say, "I'm only vegan. I'm only pescatarian. I only eat this. I never eat bread. I never eat this." That is fantastic, and I love people like that. They inspire me. But that's not true to my life. Okay. When I give myself everything that I need mm-hmm. in moderation, mm-hmm. I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. Mm-hmm. I don't feel the need to overeat. That's me personally, and that took time. Mm-hmm. I I have a culinary background, so I'm used to being in the kitchen early, late, long hours, a short amount of time. So yeah. smelling the food, tasting the food, mm-hmm. you know, it just gets you in the mood to eat all the time. Right. But you can't eat all day, every day. <laughs> That's not going to make you feel good. No. So I would say reward yourself with snacks. Mm. Stay hydrated with your favorite beverages. Make sure you get that water in, though. Mm-hmm. And reward yourself with dessert. Now, don't go crazy on the dessert. Don't eat everything for mm-hmm, dessert mm-hmm. but i like to have dessert almost every single night and what, kind I would, of, what kind of simple desserts can you do um ice cream i don't eat really? dairy ice cream but ice cream it's all about portions i have the cutest little bowls mm-hmm. they're about maybe a four ounce size bowl mm-hmm. and i scoop the ice cream into a bowl mm-hmm. i don't eat out the container so oh, if I have no, two portions, you shouldn't do that. You should not. But you'd be surprised with people. You just, you know, you just oh, walk over to the that. couch with your ice cream container, your ice cream bucket, and you you watch a movie. And oh it's just, no, 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 no! It's a, especially nowadays, they sell everything in pints. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those pint size, you, some people think that's a single serving. It's not. Uh, I know, right? Yeah, it's not right. So if you can get in the habit of getting your <laughs> your desserts. Even mm-hmm. if it's cookies, I like cookies, brownies, mm-hmm. cakes, pies. Yeah, <laughs> you know. You know what I've been doing lately though, because after I eat, I will want something sweet. Mm-hmm. So I buy like um, I buy like um, Hershey's with almonds, or mm-hmm. I'm an M and M freak. I like chocolate and peanuts. <laughs> so I'll just take like five yes. and just eat on them, just to have something sweet. Or I'll take like two or three blocks of the Hershey's with almond, but. Sometimes I'm like that too. Like I just gotta have a little something sweet. At, or sometimes the dessert is wine, so I know that ain't good and either. But you know what? <laughs> at nighttime, I think I beg to differ. If you really? are drinking red wine, okay, because red wine naturally has melatonin, which naturally makes you sleepy. It does. It does. No wonder I like it. <laughs> yes, it is actually good for you. And so some people are like, I don't you. like wine. Blah blah blah. But I, I'm like, I don't like liquor because liquor just makes you want to party. Exactly. It makes you turn up. Right. And I noticed that. But I never knew red wine had melatonin in there. Yeah, so dark fruits like uh, oh cherries. If you, if you're not a wine drinker, because not everybody enjoys wine. Mm-hmm. Dark cherry juice, 100% dark cherry juice. You awesome can make to know. A natural melatonin trick. Nice. Yes. To help you unwind for the evening. At nice. a stressful day. You can put it in a wine glass. I put my smoothies in wine glasses all the time. Yeah, smoothies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes yeah, me yeah. feel fancy. Yeah, yeah. And it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So, the 
the three tips that I want you all to remember is to stay hydrated, keep your snacks right there, healthy snacks right there with you, and also don't skip your meals. Don't and a skip. bonus tip, have dessert. Have dessert. That was such awesome information. So, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> now, have you have you helped any um, people with stressful jobs to do this, like in your business? Yes, I actually have one of my clients, um, extremely stressful job. Uh, I helped her lower her blood pressure. Oh, um, wow. She has several clients wow. over the mm -hmm. globe. So her meeting, mm -hmm. her call times are all times of the day. Mm -hmm. So her blood pressure is just always up and down wow. just for having to be awake at different times that don't agree with her natural schedule. Wow. So some of the tips that I implemented to you all for free, of course, I have been serviced for mm -hmm. these tips. Okay, awesome. So tell the people where they can find you. If they want more tips. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can find me on Instagram at Chantel Nache, S H A N T E L L E N A S H A E. And, we'll, and we will drop that link below. And why don't you drop us a comment if um, you learned something from Chantel's health tips? That would be awesome. We'd love to see what you think about today's video <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today and speaking of increasing your wealth in 2021 i am going to um, drop my affiliate links below for webull if you want to get some free stocks or if you want to get some ten dollars of free cryptocurrency Ooh. you can do that by just clicking on my link below and any any anything else you want to say before we go, Chantel? I'm just so happy to be here and I'm happy to help people with just quick, easy ways to have a more fulfilling, healthy life. Nice, nice. So that is it for today. We will see you next week. Again, new video each and every Tuesday. Be sure to tune in. Bye.